All right, this is about sub-metering for your charging your tenants. So if you have multiple tenants and they're all served off of one VRF outdoor unit, then how can you charge them for the power or the energy used by that outdoor unit? You have to have some way to allocate costs between the, it could be anywhere from two to 16 tenants, let's say, attached to one outdoor unit. So how do you charge them for their share of that outdoor unit's energy consumption? One way is to tie in an energy meter, which will keep track of the power consumed by attaching these CTs, which are connected to the energy meter, around the wires feeding the outdoor unit. Now it's important that wherever you put these CTs that there's no other uh, equipment being fed off of these uh, power lines. So it's important it's just feeding the outdoor unit you wanted to monitor. And then that meter collects that data and sends pulse inputs to your VRF controller. In this case, it's a VRV Daikin controller with their PPD software on it, which does a calculation of the indoor units based on its electronic valve position and its return air temperature and some factory settings. So it'll do a calculation at each one of those indoor units and determine how much of the energy used at the outdoor unit should be charged to the tenant. And so then from there, it will uh, you can export into Excel a CSV file, which looks a little bit like here. I colored the header. It doesn't come out colored, of course, and it doesn't come out with the borders on it, but it comes out just like this without the colors and the borders. And it's by, you name the uh, indoor units. In this case, I just named them tenant A, tenant B, but this can be uh, one fan coil and tenant A, one fan coil and tenant B, uh, you can name this fan coil 1, fan coil 2, uh, but Daikin, as part of their uh, software, they'll come out and commission and help set this up so you're getting the right data. But you get a CSV file from Excel, so if you can use that in your accounting software, then that's great. You'll just go right to the accounting software and then bill your tenants how you normally bill your tenants. But if you don't have any other way, then you can determine off of here because it's going to give you the power consumed by each fan coil or each tenant, depending on how you name this. So you know how much was consumed and you can run the reports based on uh, the month or a week or whatever you know amount of days you want to run it. And then from there, since you know how much power was consumed by the tenant, all you need to know then is your utility bill. How much did you pay for the month? Let's say in this case you consume 10,000 kilowatt hours and it cost you 1500 bucks. Well if you do the calculation that's 15 cents a kilowatt hour. So you can charge each tenant 15 cents a kilowatt hour for the power consumed just for that outdoor unit. So if tenant A consumed 2,000 kilowatt hours times 15 cents would be $300. Another way to look at it is they consume 2,000 kilowatts out of 10,000 kilowatts of power consumed at that condenser or outdoor unit. So that's 20%. So they would pay 20% of the cost to run the outdoor unit. And that's a quick way to do it. This was based on Daikin's PD, PPD software and their uh, intelligent manager controller. So look into those two things. If you want to meter your tenants so that you can charge them, that's one way to do it.